Look at this. Guillotine, look guillotine. Look at him locking it. Can he get it? He's it stopping. He's over. stopping. It's Fabrizio Verdun unbelievable. is the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion. Fabrizio Verdum has submitted three of the greatest heavyweights in the history of mixed martial arts. Fedor Emelianenko, Minotauro Noguera, and Cain Velasquez. He is arguably one of the greatest all-time heavyweight champions. After I beat Cain Velasquez, everything has changed my life. For sure I'm happy, but I want to keep going. I want to more. I want to defend, say, Verdum, you the best heavyweight ever in UFC. When he faces Stipe Miocic inside the octagon, he is defending his title against a bound and determined challenger, a guy with significant knockout power. Oh, big right hand there. Stipe Miocic looking for the quick finish, and he's got it. What pulls me apart, you know, from the other way to them, I think my athleticism and my, my speed, my cardio. He has confidence, he has momentum. I think I'm more athletic than any of those guys in the division. I beat Mark Hunt. Oh my goodness! And I stopped Alaski. Stipe Miocic is as athletic and as gifted athletically as anybody we've seen fight in this division. Miocic, Arlovsky, here we go! Oh, good right hand by Stipe. Arlovsky's hurt. This could be it. He's hurt. It is all over! Just like that! When Stipe Miocic knocked out Andrei Arlovsky, the first thing he did was run over to where Dana White was and scream, give me my shot. Give it to me! I won! You know, after the fight, you know, I, uh, I think my emotions were going crazy. I, you know, I want to shot that talent. That's what I work for, you know? Run! I just let it all out. I didn't care anymore. Give my shot! Come on! I want my shot. You know, I know I can win a belt. I know I can bring it back to Cleveland. In front of him is a man in Fabricio Verdun who has looked nothing short of sensational in his resurgence in the UFC. And look at this, oh, Fabrizio! Oh, he what heard him with that right hand and a left! Nice knee, beautiful! Got him. Verdun trying to finish, and it's all over! Fabrizio Verdun is the new interim UFC heavyweight champion of the world! What we saw in the Cain Velasquez fight was where his striking and his jiu-jitsu came together to form a true champion. He hit me a lot of times, he punched me a lot, but I don't feel it too much because I've been waiting for this moment. Good right hand by Fabricio. Oh, another right hand. Cain is in trouble, Mike. Oh, he got rough. Oh, he's hurt. He was battering Cain Velasquez standing to the point where Cain's corner was screaming at him to take arguably the greatest jiu-jitsu practitioner the heavyweight division has ever known to the ground. Take him down! Where he's at his best. When he go my legs, I say, thank you, Ken. Verdum the first to submit Cain Velasquez. He becomes the 14th undisputed champion in UFC heavyweight history. This is a huge fight for Stipe, and it's a huge fight for Fabricio Verdum. I think he have a lot of hungry, but I have a more hungry. Oh, big shot to the chin! His strategy, he have a, just one game. He come forward for sure. He tried to knock down me all the time. I just put my things. I have a hard kick. I have a good takedowns. I have a good jiu-jitsu. You know, when he's going on the ground, you know, definitely he's got a black belt, but it's, you know, how to do jiu-jitsu when you get punched in the face. What they say about champions is, a champion is not a true champion until they have defended their title. Right now, Stipe Miocic stands as the challenge in front of Fabricio Verdun, the man that Fabricio needs to beat to cement his legacy inside the octagon. Stipe Miocic is a tough guy, for sure, 100%. But I'm the champion, man. I just uh, want to stay with the champion for a long time. Become a world heavyweight champ, you know, it's been since day one. You know, I wanted to make it the UFC. You know, I Title. This dude has got dynamite in his fist. He has a chance, you know, I want what he has, you know. He tried to take my belt, but I just hold very strong, you know. I know a lot of guys don't believe myself yet, but I want to show again one more time. I keep my belt. Well, the anticipation is off the charts for this one. When I was talking about I was talking about Belfort, 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 and when you give me a responsibility, I will show you what I am capable of. Gegard may be in serious trouble here. Here's the tap. I always want to fight the toughest guys in the sport. And Jacare is the toughest guy in the division. 
that's the fight that we're gonna lead me to my mission, the title. So very honored to fight a guy like him. What's amazing about Vitor Belfort is that Vitor made his debut in 1997, and he is still at the top of one of the most talented divisions in all of MMA. I don't know a lot of guys that be in their prime for 20 years ago I was a world champion. Vitor showed that he still has ridiculous speed and explosive power and can still take out world-class fighters in the first round. And it's again Vitor Belfort in round one by knockout. Some things in life you earn, some things in life you just get. But if I get something, you know, that means I can lose it. But if I earn something, no one can take it away. Vitor Belfort trying to finish off Pennington. Vitor should have, at least on paper, a striking advantage, but Jacare is no slouch with striking. Oh! Down goes Okami, huge right from Jacare! I don't want to fight in peace with anyone. Eu tô ali para vitória, de qualquer jeito eu quero eu quero a vitória. If it goes to the ground, Jacare should have a significant advantage. Eu acredito que a vitória seja melhor para mim é, no grappling, agarrado e no chão, seja o melhor caminho para a vitória. But Vitor Belfort is a long time Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt himself. It is all over! Vitor Belfort, the winner by submission! I've been with many black belts, I've already finalized many. And if Belfort falls on the ground, it's going to be finalized too. Looking for the key lock. That's Looking good. Out. And that's the tap out! It's hard to say where you have the advantage. It's not about who the best fighter wins, the guy who fights the best. That's what my mind is. Fight the best, control the cage, control the moment, you know, dictate the fight, have fun, enjoy. Don't want to leave the outcome. Stay there for as many as I can be. It's a high stakes fight for both fighters, and the winner most likely emerges as the next fighter in line for a shot at the UFC's middleweight title. But if I'm going to play something, I'm going to be a champion. People say the sky is the limit. For me, the sky is not the limit. I can go as far as I can. Victor Belfort, a human highlight reel. Jacare putting it all together. Man. This guy's just a beast. I want the cinturon. I want the champion. Let's go. Anderson Silva is one of the most spectacular, if not the most spectacular, fighter the world has ever known. It oh! is a oh, kick to the face. Anderson Silva. He's that UFC championship fight. He's that highest level. Uriah Hall does things that remind me in a lot of ways of Anderson Silva. But you see him move so fast. It's cold. I knew in my life, I knew in my mind, I knew in my soul, one day I'm gonna fight him. Oh, there's an old saying, work till your idol become your rival. Para mim é uma honra poder lutar com ele. Ah, é legal, né? Você poder inspirar novas gerações, né? É uma luta dura e é uma luta que vai me trazer um, um outro desafio, né? We're gonna find out how we can deal with an explosive, dynamic, very skillful fighter in Uriah Hall. You will see a beast. You stand up with Uriah Hall and he will make you pay. And we're gonna find out if Uriah Hall can deal with the craftiness and the octagon IQ of an all-time great. I'm not really intimidated by his reputation. If you throw me in that cage with some wolves, you better feel sorry for those wolves. I'm a great athlete, but nothing that I haven't seen during my martial arts career. What a fight! 